For the mementos of the English martyrs and confessors for every day of the year by Henry Sebastian Bowden. August 26, Cheerful in Adversity, Bishop Thurlby of Eli, 1570. He was absent on the embassy in France on Elizabeth's ascension. On April 2nd, 1559, he concluded the Treaty of Chateau Cambrace, and on his return to England, he had once joined the other bishops in opposition to the Bill of Royal Supremacy. He refused the oath and was deposed July 5, 1559, and was committed to the Tower June 3, 1560, and endured there the miseries of close and separate confinement until September 1563 when the plague was raging. Elizabeth was then at Windsor Castle, and there was sent up, Stowe writes, in the marketplace of Windsor, a new gallows to hang up all such as came there from London, so that no person might come from London upon pain of hanging without judgment. With this panic at court, the Protestant bishops were naturally uneasy at receiving orders to house the illustrious prisoners from the town. Thurlby was allotted to Parker, Archbishop of Canterbury, and wrote to him cheerfully that he was an unbidden guest who, according to the proverb, wouldeth not where to sit, and that he doubted how to travel without danger because of the plague. Yet, need maketh the old wife trot, Dr. Thurby remained unshaken in Parker's custody for seven years. When stricken by grave illness, he was released by death. 